we're going to buy a boat, Mary. It's going to be a big boat. It's a sinkable boat. What do you, what do you mean sinkable? What, what? Who wants a sinkable boat? Guys, relax. Relax. I focus on rib boats, and every boat that's not a rib, I call a sinkable boat. So, so I got a customer that says, Alfred, please, man. I've done business with you in the past. Can you help me find a boat? I'm trying to find a boat in Miami. I got these couple of boats. Can you go check them out for me? So I did. Three boats I saw. Good boats. But there's always one that's better than all. So my question to you guys, I'm just going to show you the footage. I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of me not trying to entertain anybody here. I'm just showing you. You're like the fly in the wall that's going to see me sending the videos to the customer of what I'm seeing and what I like, what I dislike, whatever. Ultimately, he makes his own decision. We, we talk about it. We strategize about it. My question to you is, which one of these three do you think is the best boat? Because we know what he wants, okay? Um, so let me know. And then help us find the boat that we're going to restore. Keep that in mind, okay? Can I look at it for just what it is? Look at it for the value? What you would buy? It's the same boat, just th three different types of boats. All right, Ian, here's the fountain that you're talking about, real quick. So, it's got a ladder here. Here's the back of the transom. All right, so you got some storage here. All right. You got some rod holders here. You got one rod holder here. You got three here. You have an another one. So, all right, let me get in here. All right, the post street looks rough. You got a live wall here, all right? Uh, all right, so here's a section here. Uh, here's another, I guess, cooler area, which is kind of nice. Pull that up. All right, you got some lot holes in the back, some new lights. He says it's a brand new GPS. It's a big boy. He said it cost him like four or five thousand dollars. You got a fusion system. Uh, stuff here is rough right here. All this would have to be like refinished to make it look good. The the T top is removable, so you can go in like lower areas if you had to remove it, like a a lower bridge or something. I, it's not really bad. All right. Here's the front, you have the hatch here. Uh, you come in here, pull this over, all right? Got here, this comes out to like a little bathroom there. You got some storage in here, it's nice and dry. All right, and there's the door. It's been pouring over here, so I'm sorry I'm not getting the best, best footage, but you got some area in the front. Let me step up here so you can see, okay? You got your anchor locker, and you got this here, okay, you got another, another area here, which I guess is like another type of cooler area, but this is it, okay, um, Bimini, Let's look at the bottom. Let's look at the bottom of the boat. All right. Gel coat. Um, gel coat looks pretty good. If you if you polish it out real real good, it doesn't have any major cracking. Here are some areas like for the screws and stuff that can be fixed. But like here and stuff like that, that that could all be fixed. Um, here, this is a little different. They have like a blue. I don't know why that's like that, but it's kind of like a blue tint. All right. And uh, it's got the Mercury engines with hydraulic steering. So this is the other Fountain 31. All right. All right, it's white. Um, none of the blue stuff that we've been worried about. It's a little dirty right now because they've been working in here. Uh, gel coat looks good. Uh, 
Over here they have some areas where there's some paint. I don't know what they did here. But this might be able to be sanded down or either repainted. We gotta figure that out. Um, same thing here. The area. Oh, they got the locks on. There you go. And let's look at the cutty. See in here. Not too, too bad. Pretty clean. Um, this looks like a project that has never been finished. It's been passed down from one project guy to another project guy. Um, this door is not original to this, this. You got the, you got a light here. This is, I don't know, this could be polished out, make it look back, bring it back to life. You got up here. Canvas looks good. It doesn't look like it needs to be changed. That's good. So um, here's the console. This one has that stepper, just like the other one had. I'm sitting on it now. It's got a windshield, and it's got over here this here for your electronics. It also has another section here to put some stuff in. Uh, upholstery looks like it needs to be redone. And then you have your bait wall here, which almost killed me, by the way. Um, so you got your bait wall. All right. And then you also have here your cooler. Uh, all in all, it's uh, pretty clean. Looks like I said, it's a project boat and it's been worked on. Let me go down to the bottom so you can see what's going on in the bottom. You got some rod holders there, an antenna. There's no GPS on this unit and there's no trailer. Customer here, I got Ian and his wife, uh, and we're gonna see which one's better. Best, uh, we're taking a look at this one. We already did the compression check on the blue one, the one in uh, Orlando. We're, we're, not, we're not gonna do that one, so it's between this one and the other one. Let's see what happens now when we check compression. All right, guys, <laughs> so what is it, people? Boat shopping, boat shopping. Which one are we gonna one, two, or three? Because here, here's what here's what I'm what's going on. I've showed the people already all three boats on the video. Which one did you guys decide? First boat, second boat, or third boat? Well, which one's the first boat? The first boat is the white boat. The, the second, second boat. one is the blue boat, and the third one is the black boat in Orlando. Which one did you guys choose? The white one. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the suspense. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to edit you out for about 20 minutes. Ian, you just ruined my YouTube channel. Hey guys, listen, we're here in Wynwood Walls, we're discussing this over, and they just, they just decided, after seeing all the boats, that they're gonna go for the white one. And that's all right, all right, what a crazy day, to say the least, people. This is the new boat that my customer, Ian, got in. <laughs> hey, restoration. Hey, what, what, hey, it's been... It's been a mission, huh? Yes, it has. What a long day, 12 huh? 12-hour swing. P pulling punches? Yes. How was it? <laughs> How many compression checks must we do? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so listen up. When it was all awesome, said pound for pound, because this had a trailer, and it's a very good trailer, and the price 
that we're getting this boat with this GPS, I think this is it. This is it, and we're gonna make this bad boy look amazing. It's a project, but it's gonna be a nice project. With the engine. 350. Giving them ideas. I'm giving them ideas. I'm here at a buddy's boat. This is a glass stream that we did the upholstery for. And uh, just just so you can get an idea of how cool it could look. All the upholstery was done in this. We're going to do a sea trial on this bad boy one of these days too. Oh shit. Ian. It's sick. What do you think? You think I yours? I see the TV you, and the you, cutty. <laughs> you, you, you think yours is gonna be as crazy as this no, or what? No, no. Yes, yes, it I is. Hope yes, so. yes, yes. I think I should have went bigger. <laughs> Damn you, Alfred! Don't bring me over here. Ah! <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you visualize, ladies and gentlemen? We have what's this here? Front, your. A nice what else from your is that D I C F nice all right gentlemen and ladies and everyone else in between we have a restoration what do you guys think about this fountain of youth Oh, it's, it's definitely a big boy. Thank goodness I ended up getting Great White. Because uh, Great White wouldn't have... I wouldn't have been able to pull that with anything. Other than a huge monster truck. So, But let's see what we got here, people. We're going to see if we do a restoration. I'll show you guys inside so you guys check it out. I put a little bit still on here, okay? There's some of that remover. This is what I'm trying to kill, guys. This, this Don Johnson thing going on here from the 1990s or 1980s that's what I'm trying to kill let's see let's see what happens let's see what happens let's see what happens what I care about is the juggle I don't want that blue paint coming out I want all that blue paint and all that stuff coming off so let's see what it does we're using this back section as a as a test area and maybe we can get this Miami Vice thing going on hey, I can't show you the backyard what's wrong with you what's wrong with you camera guy it's really happening people I'm doing a restoration on a sinkable boat look look at this se va completo all of it's gone and I'm restoring the fiberglass. Check out my latest YouTube video if you want to check it out. And there you have it. Um, it's no longer going to be a fountain. It's not going to have any name soon. Look at this, people. Look at this. This thing will burn your freaking hands. I mean, it's some pretty gangster stuff. Look at that. Look at that. It's time to scrape, scrape, scrape. All right, so basically the Jasco fiberglass paint remover has removed, obviously with elbow, elbow grease and sanding, all this nasty nastiness all the way to the front it's working now and uh, if you see and now what you do is you just get a scraper and start scraping it off and eventually it'll go like this and then you polish it so this restoration on this 31 continues people it's a lot of work but it's gonna come out bad ass alright and the other side is almost done Oof, what a work man this thing is horrendous to work but it's coming along people so both sides are done there's like there's this little issue here this was prior to us doing something so it's interesting I don't know what this is about if you know leave the comment below but it's identical on both sides so interesting uh, so the paint is gone if you guys didn't see the video of how I removed this paint um, it's been a lot of work 
it's been a lot of work um, some areas where we got a little bit of blue but both sides are done so so far I'm happy with the outcome so far I'm gonna I'm gonna start polishing and uh, and now it's a decent boat again just with that little minor thing get that ugly color up top off so I'm liking it